And, and in my mind, I would have these conversations with Satan. And, you know, the Bible says that Satan believes. He knows who Jesus is. And he would say, you know, you're right. You do need to give your life to Christ. But to do that, you're going to have to tell everybody the kind of person you've been. You're going to have to tell your wife. You're going to have to tell your kids. You're going to have to tell your parents, your extended family, your radio audience. All these people are going to know what a fraud you've been. Are you ready to do that? And for a long time, sadly, the answer was no. But I mentioned God is a God who pursues us. And he knew that I wasn't going to do it on my own. So, folks, what did he do? He did it for me. He exposed me to the world. I'm talking cartoon style, pulling the rug out from under me, flipping head over heels into the air and laying my behavior bare for the entire world to see. Everything I was doing was exposed. Nothing was hidden to anybody. I had hit bottom. I was on the verge of losing everything and everyone that I loved. I was so low that the only place that I could look was up. But when I did, that's when I saw Jesus. He was standing there with his arms wide open saying, Son, come home. Come home. And on June 10th, 2012, in my parents' living room in West Virginia, I did just that. I gave my life to Christ. And I can promise you it's the best thing that I've ever done.